Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Twitch tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to start a Twitch stream using Streamlabs OBS. Streamlabs OBS is a version of OBS, but it includes all of the widgets from Streamlabs. So you no longer have to do custom browser sources or anything like that to get your follower alerts or tip jars. They're all included within the Streamlabs OBS application. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you need to do is go to streamlabs.com and I'll have all the links in the description as well as a detailed write-up so you can follow along down there if you get lost. Once we're at streamlabs.com we're just going to download the beta right here. It's 245 megabytes. Once the download completes we'll just go ahead and open it and begin the installation process. We're going to agree to the terms, use the default location, and then finally, once it's completed installing, make sure you have Run Streamlabs OBS selected, and then click Finish. So now that we have Streamlabs OBS open, I kind of want to give you a breakdown of how it works. It does look a little bit confusing. So this right here is going to be a live representation of what your stream looks like. So if you have a webcam or gameplay, you will see that all right here. The scenes down here, this is what is streamed to Twitch. Scenes are a group of sources. Sources include anything from the display, a video game that you're playing, a webcam, microphones, anything like that, including text that you want to have on your screen, if you want to have your chat box, if you want to have follower alerts, those are all a part of sources that you put in a group and then they create a scene and a scene is what is streamed to Twitch. So in this video we're going to create one scene and we'll have a group of sources so that you can see how you add those and have a better idea of what all this means. The first thing we need to do in Streamlabs OBS is simply log in. Now they've made it really easy. You don't have to create a Streamlabs login. You could just use whichever stream platform you're using. So in this video we're doing Twitch and then it will automatically be able to stream to there. You don't have to get your stream key. You don't have to worry about any of that. And it also will sync up with any old widgets that you've created such as follower alerts, things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and log in with Twitch. Once you enter your credentials, you'll be asked to authorize Streamlabs. You can see the different permissions that they're requesting down here, but it is a trusted website and many of the large streamers use it. So I'm going to go ahead and authorize it. So now we're logged in, we have a blank slate. We need to add the foundation of our stream, which is going to be the content of what we're streaming. So I'm going to include my display and then some text. But I'll also show you how to include your webcam. I don't have a second webcam, so I'm not going to be able to do that. So the way we add a source is down here in the sources, go to this plus symbol. And as you can see, there are two different types of sources. They have standard, which is going to be kind of those foundations that I'm talking about. Images, display capture, video games. If you, you could stream just your video game. Video capture devices such as a webcam. Then on the right side, they have widgets. These are going to be more of the interactive parts of your stream from Streamlabs. So you have alert boxes, you have tip jars, you have donation tickers, you have a spin wheel. These are all things that are not the foundation of your Twitch stream, but they make it interactive with your users. So first thing I'm going to do is add display capture. And what this is going to do is just include the display that I'm working on as one of the sources in my stream. So you go to add source, you can name it, and then here you can select which display. I'll just be displaying my 1080p display, and then you can do done. And as you can see now, that's showing up in the example area of my stream. So next I'm going to add some text to the bottom. Text GDI plus, select add source, you can name it, and then right here we configure the text. I'm just going to add at gauging gadgets so that people know who I am. We can change the font to anything we want. I'm going to do Comic Sans because I love Comic Sans. And then we can also change the color. We'll do uh, the signature blue. And as you can see right here, the source of that text is right here. We can expand the size of this by just dragging and dropping. So I'll just put that at the bottom. If you wanted to add a webcam, you would just go to the plus symbol. Then go to video capture device, add the source, name it, and then in here you just select which webcam you want to have. I'm using my HD webcam and then I only have the webcam that came on my laptop, I'm not going to use that. So you would just select which webcam and then press done. And then with that again you could drag and drop with the size. So now we have the foundation of our stream created. We could go ahead and stream with this. People could watch me play games or edit videos, whatever I wanted them to see. But the benefit of Streamlabs OBS is we have integration with all those Streamlabs widgets. So I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of those. Go to the plus symbol on their sources. I'm going to add an alert box. So for any of these, if you get a donation, a bit, a follower, it'll show kind of something like this on your stream. Let's go ahead and configure that real quick. So I'm going to add the source. You can name it. So once you get in the properties for this widget, if you've not configured an alert box before, I recommend going to the widget settings. That's going to bring us back to the dashboard and allow us to go to streamlabs.com and edit and configure those widgets. 
Now we're configuring the alert box. As you can see, you have a couple different settings here. You have the general settings, and then you have different settings for each different type of alert. Now the most important things in here, to, in my opinion, are going to be the layout of the alert. As you can see, it shows an image with text. I like that, and then the different sizes here. But we can also go into each individual alert type. I'm gonna go into follows, and then add images, change the sounds, configure if it's gonna fade in and fade out, different things like that. Once you're completed with those settings, go to Save Settings here. Then to get back to where we're creating our stream, just go to Editor. And as you can see, I have the alert box right here. Now I've made the screen a little bit smaller just so that it doesn't get in the way of the webcam. But now that we have this alert box, we can test it before we go live to make sure that it's working. The way we do that is down in the bottom right, we go to Test Widgets, and then Follow. So as you can see, it comes up, it gives me an example, this is the custom image I selected, and the text the way I wanted it to be there. Once you see that and you're happy with it, you can move on to the next source. I'm going to add a tip jar, and as you can see, this can be configured for all different types of notifications. So we'll add the source, you can name it, and then again we can go to the widget settings. We can select the jar type, I like this glass right here, and then there are many other settings. We go back to editor to get back to where we can edit our stream, and as you can see, I have a new tip jar that I can move around the screen and just lay it right there. And we can also test it by going to test widgets, and I can do follower, we'll get both notifications, so we get this one right here, and then as you can see, the scrolling text and a follower will drop into the tip jar. So right there, we have a stream set up. We have it streaming my screen, we have some text, you can add a webcam if you want, and then we have a follower alert and a tip jar. Now all we need to do is go live, and we do that by just selecting go live right here. Once you select go live, you'll be asked to create a title, and then also select the game that you'll be playing. Once you do that, select confirm and go live. So now as you can see, very quickly, I am live streaming, on the Gaging Gadgets channel, you can see that we're live right here. So now I'm gonna do a quick test right here. We can see if it shows up on my live stream. There's our follower alert. The tip jar is getting something dropped in it right now. This is working perfectly. And to end the stream, once you're completed, just go to end stream. So that's how you start a Twitch stream using Streamlabs OBS. Sorry about the shakiness there. My computer was reaching its limit, live streaming, recording the screen, and then also running many Chrome tabs. If you have any questions about streaming the Twitch of Streamlabs OBS, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Twitch tutorial videos, check the link in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.